Welcome back to Poem Mrs. Channel. In this video, we will guide you through the interface and configuration process of the Poe M6 Max. Without further ado, let's get started. This screen is the main page after connecting the power source. The Pell M6 series features a simple interface design that allows you to simultaneously monitor the parameter related to photovoltaic input, battery data, and load settings. On the main page, the photovoltaic input section displays the input voltage, the battery section shows the current battery voltage, and the load section indicates the load operating mode. I will explain the load operating mode in detail shortly. Next, we will navigate through the parameter and configure setting use the button, press the PB button to switch between the displaying the photovoltaic input voltage and the power. Pressing the PB button again will return to display the photovoltaic input voltage. The battery and the DC button are used to navigate the battery parameters. First, you will see the current battery voltage on the main page. Next, you can view the charging current and the device temperature. Then there is the battery calibration voltage. If the controller detects a deviation between the battery voltage it measures and the voltage measured at the positive and negative terminal with the multimeter, you can calibrate it using this feature. To calibrate, Press and hold battery button, adjust the value using battery button and DC button, and confirm with the set button. Now let's move on to the setting the battery type. The controller consoles preset for 12 different battery types, but it also allows you to customize the charging parameters. You can prefer to this table for charging the parameter of the 12 preset battery types. If you choose USE, you can configure five settings. The system voltage, boost charging voltage, slow charging voltage, low voltage reconnect, and the low voltage disconnect. To set these parameters, press and hold BAT button, adjust the value with battery and DC button, and confirm with the set. Now we have the load mode setting. Press and hold DC button to enter the setting program. 24 edge is always on mode, where DC output remains open. Don't worry about over discharge, as the controller has over discharge protection. It will cut off DC output when over discharge is detected and restart it when the battery voltage recovers. Zero edge represents the load control mode, where DC output is enabled when there is sufficient sunlight. Setting from 1 edge to 23 edge indicates low output is enabled with a predefined duration. The number represents the duration in hours. Apart from the main sections, the interface also displays the operating mode and the fault code. Additionally, the battery section can show the battery status of charge for comprehensive system monitoring. That concludes our tutorial on configuring the PO M60 Max. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. We hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.